Welcome to another edition of Business Today, where we look at in depth the business world and its dealings. As always, we have two very exciting segments lined up for you. And first off, it's going to be the personality segment. Now, today for our personality, we are looking at an entrepreneur, but he also happens to be an inventor. So, who is it? Let's find out. Dr. Nandadasa Narayana is the founder and chairman of Flexport Private Limited. He is a mechanical engineer who worked for many years at the State Timber Corporation as well as Port Commission. He followed business studies at the Stanford University in the US. He is an inventor of Coir Pack and Pack Grow natural packaging system to replace plastic and expanded polystyrene. These inventions won the first place at the International Inventors Awards held in Geneva, beating over thousands of inventions. It was declared as a global solution by the World International Property Organization, World Trade Organization, the United Nations and the World Packaging Organization. He was the first Sri Lankan to win its first prize at the International Inventors Exhibition held in Geneva for his concept of Pack Grow and Coir Pack, which has a US dollar 545 billion market. He has established Flexside Flexport Center for Innovation Cubation and Enterprise Development as a CSR initiative, which contributed to the development of 50,324 entrepreneurs in 104 coconut growing countries. Dr. Nandadas and Narayan is Thanks. in the studio with us. Yeah, sure. Great to have you on. Sure. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Now, of course, uh, you're the founder and chairman of Flexport right. Private Limited. Uh, Flexport, Private Limited uh, is no, it's, uh, Flexport Innovations Private Limited. Flexport Innovations, Innovations Private, Private yes. Limited. And uh, I think we'll start off from there. You yeah, know, start. What, what the company is, how the name came about, and the motivation behind the start of the company. Yeah, that's a good question. First, let me see. I, I, was, I was an automotive engineer. When you have a photometer engineer, there is rubber technology, thermodynamics, all sorts of things. So luckily, I started that, and I thought that you can convert to various areas, business. So because I always feel that you should not stick to one. You have to, you should not stick to one. So I thought uh, I must I must study about the various areas of engineering. So I joined uh, Port Commission. Uh, under the Re Research and Development Division of uh, Port Commission under Dr. Akul Singer. So luckily, mm. he was an uh, inventor also. So I, I picked up certain things that which uh, I never thought. And uh, that was the start of the project. And then, um, that was in 1964. At that time, we were paid only 62 rupees and uh, 50 cents. Very yeah. low price. But uh, still, we can su survive that time. And uh, I assume that, that time, the uh, usual uh, engineer is paid about 500 rupees, 25 rupees, and um, I got uh, after training, I got that, and I thought uh, I should do something. But usually we have problem in Sri Lanka. Engineers can do m many things; they can make things, but they don't know how to sell. So I had that problem also that I know how to make it, but I don't know how to sell. That is why is the reason for me to go to St Stanford to learn about business management. Yeah. That uh, we, uh, before I uh, I should uh, expose an important thing. When uh, when I wanted to make a name for the company, uh, I thought of how, how can I put the name? Because I had three girls. Okay. There are no sons, so I thought well, what is the point of making a business also that one day they will take away and I, I have nothing to leave. But the child, daughters has to work under husband, so they have no control over it. Then uh, luckily, after uh, 11 years later, I got a son. Mm -hmm. His name is uh, Dinu Narayana. Now he's a, uh, he's a project man. Sorry, he's a, a senior manager at a blue chip company. Their profit was almost two billion. Mm -hmm. Why I sent it there was I want to train him because I know I had a large uh, project set coming up, and uh, he should be able to take it or take over in my transition. So then the first thing what I did was to make a name. When I go back to home, my hometown is Madhra, uh, my wife is from Gaul, and uh, whenever I go there, I checked the names of companies. 
everywhere they are saying, and sons. So this man had no sons. So what I would do? Then I thought, I say, I, what, what, I, I, no, no, no way of finding the name. But I knew that I can make various things different. Yeah, that is called flexport, flexible exports. My, my concentration on exports. Then uh, I was thinking of flexport. Then uh, I used to write to various countries to get certain uh, um, interested parties for investing in us. Nobody replied me. The reason was, I would find, uh, most of the companies say, you have to make it a limited company. So to limited, uh, make, make a limited company, I have to spend at least 2,000 2, 2, rupees. 2,000 rupees is at that time, it was four months salary, right? So it is not possible. So but what I thought was, I see, I had to, I had to find some solution to it. I had to put an LTD, Flexport Limited. Then I thought, uh, how to do it? I evaluated a system. LTD stands for Little Three Daughters. Yeah. <laughs> little Three Daughters. So I had three daughters, like they are very young, yeah. uh, kid-like. So I made that company. And I went to uh, registration branch, and I gave it to that uh, registrar. He said, no, this is not a limited company. It's yeah. little three daughters. You, you write as limited. I said, these are the abbreviation. I put apostrophe, yeah. not a dot. Okay. LTD and apostrophe. Then he couldn't say anything. He had registered. So I used to send letters to other countries. I got a lot of replies. And I developed certain new technologies uh, through that. What I'm going to say here is, when an entrepreneur wants to do something, he finds some way. Yeah, that's will, that's, that's way. Very right. and also, you had little, puts a little uh, innovation thinking, you know, creative thinking. That is what I did. Ultimately, when I started, went to Stanford, they published in the alumni magazine, the one professor said, this is how, when an entrepreneur wants to do something, he'll come out do it. So I am in that, that form. Yeah. That is how I started. Very flexible. Flexible. Uh, flexi uh, flexport. Export, of course, flexible is, exports. You know, it's something similar to that. That's exactly. uh, your exactly. mindset going in. Now, of course, uh, the company, when you started out, that was in 1964. Since then, it has evolved. So can you speak a little bit about the evolution process to bring the Flexport to the company yeah. it is right now? Those days, uh, there was no uh, in, uh, sign industry in Sri Lanka. So people come to me with various things. My tagline was, you name it, we make it. So people come with that. I never thought. But being an engineer, I had to find a solution. Then I developed almost, uh, up to now, I have developed 174 production processes. Those are all indigenous. So because of that, I, I always come up in uh, competition. No, no, no problem with competition. I don't care for the competition because I always make something new. Yeah. What happened was, then people come to me, even though those uh, architects. Uh, the first job we got was Oberoi. I made out of brass. And um, with that, I got a lot of uh, business. The, there's an organization called, uh, the, they who do research for what, I forget the name, oh. long years yeah. ago, long ago. And they said that we have got 85% of the market share in science. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that I had a very profitable job. So I used to buy lands and all sorts of things. So, but I never sp spent money on various things. But the only thing is I used to buy land. The reason I know when you buy a land, rather than putting it in the, uh, the banks, banks give about 8, 8 to 12 percent. But uh, that one enhanced many times. After four years, I, I have got a factory in Atma, 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 I bought it at 400 rupees. Now it is 3.7 million, more than 2,000 times. Yeah. If you deposit that money in the bank, nothing will get like that. So that's the thinking. We are so always really thinking, we're thinking when, different, yeah. Even if, when it comes to depositing money and yes, the savings. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a very important topic, I think. Uh, that's what like makes your portfolio grow. And uh, moving on to the company now, of course, uh, you, like you said, you diversified a lot. You made anything and any, everything yes. that people needed, you were there to provide it. And of course, uh, with that came some flexible, uh, you know, actually innovative solutions that you yeah. made. Now, of course, uh, your packaging system that was... Uh, that's a very really interesting one. Yeah. I know that in, in Matara, yeah, we had a lot, large uh, mountains of, mounds of uh, coal dust. They burn. Those days when you're coming back to school, I would go up, uh, uh, jump, and nothing happened to us. Over 40 feet high. These are from like the coconut. Yeah, coconut dust. And I thought it's an ideal packaging material. I studied this. 
I got a scholarship to uh, Korea, design and package center. I went there. I researched on it. I was not a package engineer, but I studied that. And I found it was one of the superb packaging material. Because it has the micro porous. Because the mother nature never do anything wrong. But the co coconut tree is almost 60 feet high. When it drops from that 60 feet high, when it drop, it doesn't crack. It doesn't so break. When it is so have tough now, it should crack. The mother nature made a system we are packaging by by coir husk. Yeah. The husk, husk has a uh, thread, fiber, and pith. So because of that it takes ob absorb. I thought that's a mother nature never can make a wrong thing. So I thought I must develop and I pick a packaging. That is how we start. And I I won the first prize in Geneva, BT four three countries. And a very interesting thing is, uh, when you throw away, you can grow trees. Also, when you collect the stuff, you have another 18 uses out of the material. So we send the product to uh, foreign countries, they collect the product, and they can make other 18 signs. So that's a, a, a huge market. And I, when I got the first prize in Geneva, uh, I was the uh, uh, first Asian to win that. They said, you can, be, you can make Sri Lanka eco-friendly packaging hub of Asia. By just now, now, now we have come to that level, so I'm very happy about it. And uh, we have made about 127 product lines. I spent about 300 million on research and development. And um, so most of the money time went on those uh, research and development. Now uh, we are in a very strong uh, position to, to deal with. Now, of course, uh, you're mentioning research and development, 300 million you spent. Yeah. Uh, what is your view on the R&D concept? What should be the focus in Sri Lanka? My, my focus was, uh, we must always find a problem. You know, I know that styrofoam is a very uh, big problem for the world. That's called white pollution. Yes. But this one is a total natural product. By and I, yes, and CNN World News carried a new story Thanks to your organization, Rupaini, they put me into that, and I, I had a discussion with them. And in that, they said Sri Lanka invented the world first garbage repack. When you throw away, you can grow a tree. So that's also an interesting one. Packaging, you can grow trees. So when you throw away a styrofoam, uh, expand the polystyrene, you can do that. Here, you can do it. That's what happened. Was, uh, college times of uh, Saudi Arabia and so many countries, they all uh, inter were interested in this. Because coconut tree is grown in 104 countries, right on the world, on the equator, yeah. so that we can uh, export to uh, south, uh, north and south. So that was my strategy. And uh, we give the patent rights to all those countries, and they do that. And we get the, uh, for the paper, we get money, foreign okay. currencies. Very unfortunately, we had a problem with the uh, bow. I okay. couldn't do that. And um, I, I got an um, uh, investor from uh, Canada. He was prepared to pay almost for 300 million US dollars. 300 million US dollars, that's the largest. BUI said, this is uh, the Flexport is the largest investor for Sri Lanka. Uh, they, they came to Sri Lanka. They sent me about $30,000 to start the business, startup capital, yes. and I did it. And uh, very unfortunately, uh, the president wanted me to get the, uh, the country to classify our company as a flagship company. Yes. The 300 million See. large amount, right? Then that was in 1996, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, what happened was uh, uh, when uh, that particular president came about to come, three days ahead, he came, tried to come, the Peta bomb went. Oh, that okay. was the end of the story. So they took over the, my uh, all investments by Toronto Dominion Bank. So they they took over the, that was the end of it. That is so I went to hibernation. Right but now, by, by hibernation, I didn't ke keep quiet. I developed various other things, and I found a system to uh, pay my 300 million uh, loans. Well, otherwise, I can't get any my loans. So, so then what I did was I started uh, doing some research on nanotechnology. I found a system where I can plate anything under the sun except air. I can make plate gold, silver, bronze, or any color. Okay. So that is how to develop. Ultimately, what happened? 300 million, all paid by the money is coming from the invention. What I'm going to say here, the message to our inventors, yeah. never come down your mind. You must always say, hold it and do it. There are so many problems comes in. 
Persistent and innovation, yes. I think. Yeah. Persistent. Persistent is the word. That's the correct word for it. And of course, uh, now, I think apart from your inventions, your R&D, now your inspiration for people who are doing that stuff, entrepreneurs, inventors, they, if they want to make something, if they see a problem, they should go, go and actually fix it. But apart from that, you have actively gone out and encouraged young inventors. Exactly. Can you speak a yes, little bit about that? Yes, that's a very, that? very interesting one. That is how it happened was that now, because of the your situation, I can't make use of my worldwide patent. I allow people to use it. And uh, in the equator, there are 104 countries, I said, no. What happened? No, they started making things. So I called them inventorinas. They they pick my uh, ideas and they start doing. Uh, they people make uh, machines for it, and uh, then 50,325 people were born from my patent. So because of that, World Intellectual Property Organization, the World Packaging Organization, said this man has made a social. We have to make he call him as a social entrepreneur. So I did it. So I thought. I am building people outside. What about Sri Lanka? So that's why I thought that for the country need a, a lot of set of uh, inventors. What uh, I can see was this way. I knew if you can uh, develop one um, uh, inventor, you can make 100 jobs. So that means well, you can, when we make 10,000 inventors, you can get 1 million jobs, new jobs. Yeah. So what I thought of, that is the ideal thing for the present situation. Because I think last government was trying to do about one, billion, one million jobs, couldn't do well much. Yeah. So I thought, now present situation, uh, it is open for me to do that. So I am trying to get 10,000 inventors and uh, uh, one, one million jobs. Yeah. So that's one problem here. Why I had a lot of experience on this uh, uh, crib entry, central bank crib entry. When you don't pay, after three months, they sent to uh, central bank, and then said they no, no loan to them. Mm -hmm. That was a very serious one for in inventors. But the invent I, I had a, a discussion with the World Bank uh, official. They say that is correct for uh, traders. Traders bring the goods and sell. It takes six months. Within six months, they can settle it. But inventors are different. Inventors, when you make something like what I did, though, it takes over ten years. So by the time 10 years, my name is there, and I couldn't get a single cent from any bank for 20 years. I suffered. But did I, did I spot? No, I didn't stop. What I did? I developed now new things. That's when you know, this a new process came uh, to beat the kind of world. And I, uh, my prices were 700% less than the Chinese price on nanotechnology. Yeah. Thanks to my brother, who's a research and development director. He, I gave him to develop it. So he did it. Now, so we are established to do that. And uh, there, recently, uh, I got a job from Army Headquarters. Yeah. That that uh, particular being 56 billion project, they want to make a model. I made the model. Now, you would say there are jobs for the uh, advanced level real people and be a yeah. graduate. I used use them, trained them, and made out of rapid prototype technology and uh, chemical million, various things, and I made model. Total thing was made in nano gold plating. They are very excited. So that means that's a now new business coming. The reason is, uh, I checked from a, a Singapore company, uh, architecture company, they want to uh, charge five million. We made it for about two million. So that means we are uh, competitive. That's yeah. what we want to. So that's a new thing. And those uh, advanced level fail people, that is why I said, that is why we made, uh, we made a system, a company called uh, Flexseed, Flexseed for Flexport Center for Innovation, Incubation, Enterprise Development. So be, from that, what I do, I have develop people. Yeah. In that, I'm trying to make 10,000 inventors, but uh, there are 50,000 villages and 290 uh, Pradesh above. We get together and make a, tra a training center for all these people at the our place. Yeah. And we train them to be able to develop new things, uh, subcontract work, all sorts of things. KPO and BPO, knowledge process outsourcing and business process outsourcing. These are things that we are going to do in the future. I think uh, that's some really interesting projects to look forward to in the future. Now, speaking about future now, of course, uh, this is the concerning your company and your endeavors. In your view, what should Sri Lanka do to make a sustainable future for inventors? And of course, uh, there are, of course, infrastructure. Super perfect question. The reason is, uh, last 35 years, I was trying to do something what Kumar Tunga Munida said. He said, if you don't 
in vain they are no be uh, no, no de- development of the country so what i thought was one blue something this is i is from matra is a dikwela but 14 miles away from my place and i was think what to do i knew that if you can declare in the, uh, the 4th of uh, february uh, they, they have declared some new things no so i said uh, i told uh, our p- past president mr maitripala sirisena to declare innovation economy to fight against economic war we have so luckily he did i was the last 35 years i have tried to do that but i could know everybody all the the presidents liked it but nothing couldn't happen uh, what happened was he, he did it and now i have a big challenge i made uh, i got it declared 69th uh, inter, uh, 69th uh, independence day and uh, now i am going to make very important thing very important thing for the country developing inventors because the reason is we people say that uh, we must become make a wonder of the world yes we can but only way is by making a invention that is the easiest way to uh, do a sort of uh, to wonder of the world right yeah. that's uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get get this uh, 10000 people but they will have a big problem here the reason i'm i want to make this is from villages there are 50000 villages so i am getting connected to ai i am uh, 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 artificial intelligence and make a sarisara.lk we are going to make it and uh, we will get them uh, to train uh, you know digitally and uh, support them to b- b- make new things like very maybe sp- very simplified the notion not yeah. a big things but country can grow very fast and of course this is one of the reasons you've actually been invited to as the chairman of the sir arthur c clark uh, yes. center for innovation as yes. well so something uh, to look forward to uh, thank you dr narayana for joining yes, us i think it was a very informative yeah. segment and with that we'll wind up the personal segment we will be having our market discussion segment up next so stay tuned in don't go anywhere <laughs>